No Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Wildcats been talking with them this week, Kirk. It's just interesting their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on him. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'd be shocked if they can slow him down. That brings him second and five. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And he's taken down at about the 43-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Catches it and he's punished. That's a deep problem. That makes it second and six. Yeah. Second and six. Ball on their own forty-eight. Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds at the 44. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. It's second and five here. Ball on the 39. Tackle made at the 42. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. I think this defensive end is doing a great job of getting after the quarterback, not only with the sack in this case, but it seems like the entire game he's done a good job of creating pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm and almost seems to be throwing the football, feeling the, the pressure and almost creating nerves on the quarterback. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Good job by the defense to force a punt on the first series. I'm sure the fans are thrilled to see their guys come up with an early stop in this game. Let's see if the offense can give them something else to get excited about now. Setting up the play action. Zips it to the tight end. He's taken down at the 22-yard line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of two yards. yards. That, that makes, makes it, it second, second and eight. eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 22. Hey, check back, check back, Quick throw, and they make the stop at the 31-yard line. to the receiver and he can't make the grab from their own 31 yard line second down throws it in a hurry three yards there on the play the offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here and 
He did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, seven. but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. From their own 34-yard line, it's third down. Watch seven. Watch seven. That's what I, that's what I do. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Now that's how you run a corner route. He exploded out of his cut and beat the man coverage for a new set of downs. It's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. Yeah. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Four down, four down. Mike six. Mike six. To go. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. This is the eighth play of this drive. Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. I go. This is the eight. Motion, motion, motion. Two, six, motion, motion. I go. Quick throw incomplete, one of his receiver. That makes it fourth and four. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He really got a hold of that one. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tackle around the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the back. He's knocked out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. Second, Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. So at the end of one quarter, still no score. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on the 44. And down he goes at the 42-yard line. All the game 14 yards. First down. Tight line, tight line. Four down, four down. 43 is the fight. Set. Green at the eight. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Running back picked up about eight on the draw. That's a team on the play. That'll bring up third and two. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Four down, four down. 43 is the mic. Run it! Brought 
down right around the 26 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 26. Four down, four down. 43 in the mic. Nice run there. Six yards there on the option keeper. That brings him second and five. This is the 10th play of this drive. a great tackle at the 18 yard line so the quarterback keeps it for two yards so it's third down and they've got about two yards to go well, that's the fifth first down for this offense on this drive the defense you can look at them their hands are on their knees hands are on their hips they're looking tired this offense right now has this defense exactly where they want them Ready? One. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's a game four. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Eight yards out. He's tackling around the five-yard line. This is the 14th play of this drive. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 14-play, 78-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He tackles him for a loss. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That'll bring up second down. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 24. And he throws it away. Pressure throws that close to being intercepted. Number 87, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Gets to about the 44-yard line. A really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think oh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Kansas State up seven points. And it's scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. This guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. 
And this one is a beauty. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Good open field tackle. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 25. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Take go. Motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion, Slings it, and he tackles him hard at the 39-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 39. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That was a loss of six on the play. That'll make it second and long. Strike to his receiver, no good. He made the catch, but it was outside the white line. This quarterback has to just settle down and get his feet underneath him. He took the receiver clearly out of bounds. That kid had no shot to make the catch. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it, as it should be the last play before the half. We head into halftime with both offenses struggling. 7-0, Kansas State. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Both of these offenses have proven to be capable of making explosive plays, and really we expected to see a lot of that in this game. Haven't seen it so far. You know, David, that, this game reminds me a lot of the 2012 Stanford-Oregon game when the Stanford defense did such a great job of limiting Oregon's big plays. Yeah, and Oregon's an offense that thrives on the big plays, and you see them go the length of the field all the time, and how fast? I mean, just a blink of an eye, you can see it. But what about when you make them execute on third down? What about when you make them execute on third and short? And then you put them in field goal position or field goal range and you make them decide whether they want to kick a field goal on fourth and short because they don't really feel comfortable getting it. When you make an offense go the length of the field and execute, th that's when turnovers happen. You, you need somebody to slip up and make one mistake. If they put 12, 13, 14 plays together as opposed to four or five, the likelihood of that mistake coming we're very much swings in favor of you. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Play fake. Defense bearing down. Loose football. And the offense picks it up. from their own 19-yard line. Second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Six. 
Passes left, going the other way. He's at the 30, to the 20, and he's taken down at the 13. And the quarterback just can't believe it. He really wishes he could have that one back. Every quarterback has passes that he wishes he could have back. However, hey, a pick is a pick, and no one is going to care how bad he wants that one back. From the 13-yard line, first down. Kansas State is up by a touchdown. He's into the open field. Touchdown, K-State. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This defense has everything. They kind of have that blue-collar, workman-like approach, but they also have a blend of tremendous speed to go along with that work ethic. And the better they play, they seem to feed off of it, and it continues throughout the whole ballgame. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle made at the 40. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 40. Gets out to about the 42-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. They need to get it out to midfield. Larry, Larry. They come out in a five-wide set. Just throws this one away, and that will make it fourth down. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. From the 15, tackle made at the 22-yard line. Kansas State's showing right now that they are not content to sit back and just watch their lead disappear. They're adding to it. Boy, they're clicking right now on offense. They've found their rhythm, and you know, as you said, they're not looking back. They're trying to extend this lead and try to put this game out of reach. You know, if I'm calling the plays for this offense based on what happened last series, I just continue to go back and run the football. Force this defense to show that they have the ability to stop you from running before you adjust your own play call. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Four down, four down. 23. Ready? That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. Carries the ball for a nice game. So that's a seven-yard run there for the running back. Again, they go with the halfback here. And again, he picks up some positive yardage and a first down. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. Number two on the tackle at the 39-yard line. First down. Man, left, 
Green 95! Green 95! Easy, 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 easy! Oh, they hand it off again. He's taken down around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. It's up. Looks long enough. He clanks it off the upright. No good. Well, that's just unlucky. It looked pretty good from here. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Makes it out to about the 49. From their own 49-yard line, first down. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That makes it second and two. He laterals the ball. Tackle at the 42-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. Mike six. Mike six. So the halfback gets the first down there with a five-yard carry. Good decision making that time on the option. He read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch. They make the stop at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line, second down. That's three down and one to go. The Wildcats lead it by two touchdowns. in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, check Mike, Mike six, Mike six. Right down, alert, alert, alert. Cat. And down he goes at the 22. From the 22 yard line, first down. They'll run it. They'll bring him down at the 21. Gain of one yard. That brings up second. And this play is number eight on the drive. Brought down at the 11. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. It's first and 10. Ball on the 11. To his receiver. And a nice 
catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And he adds the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the defenses have certainly been the story in this one. Uh, the defense is playing great. I might recommend dropping down a level or two. Instead of playing at the higher level, go down to the freshman level and give yourself a chance to execute a little bit better. A score here might effectively end this one. Kansas State is up seven. He's tackled right around the 20. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He's going right. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. That's good decision making there and mechanics by the quarterback. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but he looked off the other receivers first. From their own 38 yard line, it's first down. They'll get him for a loss. The lineman had a big push there to get in the backfield and bring him down. And once he gets moving, there's no stopping him. This guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy. So we're looking at another third down here. Four down, four down. 43 is the mic. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Ready. Green 95. Check, check. Check, check. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Just under three to go in regulation. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll make it second and long. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He wants it all. 
can't connect. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Rose. Nice grab on the play. To the 20, to the 10, and a huge touchdown play. Will be tied with the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Just over a minute left. his wide receiver he's knocked out of bounds around the 16 yard line so what do you think of this receiver after that play the quarterback made a nice throw but it was the receiver who made this happen that's a great way to make a statement now it's first and ten after the big pass play the ten Gets out to around the six. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That brings up second and one. One possession ball game, and it's really going to get tense from here on out. And he hits the PAT. So a fourth play, 75-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Even in a game this close, I think it's going to take something very unexpected to change the outcome. But that doesn't mean it won't happen. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. 21-14, Wildcats. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.